Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Democracy 3. My name, of course, is Orbital Potato. We are continuing as Scandinavia, heading for that sweet, sweet, sweet socialist paradise achievement. You can see it right there. It's all about equality, it's all about poverty, and it's all about something else, which I can't seem to remember off the top of my head. What was it? What was it? Let's just, let's just check this, actually, because otherwise I'm going to be a total, uh, a total, a total idiot that is just consistently in the dark. All right, I've got it. The music returns. Uh, equality is over 90%, a poverty rate of under 20%, and the lowest possible working week. Now, if I'm not mistaken, equality is fantastic. It is really, really, really good. And if we check poverty, poverty is pretty darn low. The working week, however, is continuing to be a real problem for us. And we have had a big, big deal trying to get around that. I mean, it is going down, but it's just a little bit annoying for us at the moment. So, you know, it's tough. It, it, is, uh, it, is, it is quite tough to, to make this possible. So, working week can be altered by the industrial automation by the industrial automation by industrial automation which if we want to increase then fingers crossed that should help us you know shift towards uh, you know decreasing the working week fingers crossed i think i think that's how it works automation reduces the working week and increases productivity but at the cost of making many low skilled workers unemployed yeah so that's problematic the way that we increase industrial automation is definitely very very important the year well we can do absolutely nothing about that apart from play for for years and years and years but technology is certainly something that we can do something about so science funding uh, we've already maxed out which is kind of nice that's very very good but also innovation and innovation is a new mechanic that is in the economic realism mod i think it's not energy efficiency that's the one i knew it was some light bulb um but innovation is something that we want to uh, to try and try and boost as much as we possibly can and we're going to try and do that over the course of the next couple of episodes fingers crossed so corporation tax clearly needs to go it is decreasing innovation by an irregularly large uh, amount however can we afford it we're running a little bit of a deficit right now i think we should just go ahead and do it to be honest i'm gonna go ahead and do it How's our uh, how's our GDP looking? Our GDP is looking pretty good. So next turn, next turn, I don't think we're going to be running as big a deficit, but we're going to be still running a pretty big deficit. Uh, we've got a substantial amount of debt, but I feel that that's okay given the circumstances that we're actually in. We could consider uh, increasing taxes if we really wanted to do that. Although that is so ballsy, it really is very very scary to do that. And uh, you know, we've just. We've just we've just got so much money coming in through income tax. Uh, we probably need to think about putting another tax up, and I don't know which one it's going to be because we put petrol tax up anymore, and it absolutely damages our GDP, and that's not something we really want to do. So we're going to need to find a way to balance the books without uh, without increasing any taxes whatsoever. And I'm feeling that uh, that completely abolishing state schools is probably going to be another way that we lower innovation. And the reason that we're going to try and abolish state schools is because state schools are currently costing us 42 billion. Did I see that? Yeah, it can cost us 42 billion. We can, however, spend a maximum of 60 billion if uh, if we wanted to do such a thing, or as low as 5 billion. So 60 60 billion at the top of the scale. However, if we decided to go to an all private model, and if we went to, is it economy? I think it's economy. No, it's not, it's public services. Of course it would be public services. Um, and then we looked for school vouchers. School vouchers. Da, 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 da. Have I just gone past them? State Sciences Institute. Yes, this is what we need. This is what we need. We need this. We need this. We need this a lot. Um, but the way that we're going to cut spending is healthcare vouchers. Am I just being completely blind? Am I actually being completely blind? I'm sure there's school vouchers somewhere. I can't be going crazy, can I? I mean, I might be just going past them again and again and again, which is probably what's going on, but... 
Maybe I am going crazy. Do we have school vouchers already implemented? Yeah, we do have school vouchers that are already implemented. Oh, fantastic. All right, that's going to be awesome. Uh, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to bump this up to absolutely max. Did we do this last episode? I can't remember. Uh, and this is only going to cost us 23 billion at the moment. Uh, it's it's going to go up in price as more and more people um, you know, start to migrate over to private schools. But for now, it's fine. And we're going to massively, massively, massively cut back on state schools in the next turn. And uh, fingers crossed that's going to help our innovation. It's going to help our industrial automation indirectly. And uh, it should be great. We're going to allow the little expansion. And we're going to go to the next turn. Why not? All right. Tax evasion. This is problematic. However, corporation tax has been absolutely slashed. And so it should be fine. Should be fine. We are going to be taking in a lot less revenue right now, though. So that's going to be really, really bad. Um, this policy is also going to get cancelled. It's really stupid, isn't it? Capital gains tax. It's pretty dumb. Uh, GDP taking a little bit of a pounding. That's all right, though. Running a massive budget deficit. Holy cow, we really are. Corporate exodus. That's a real shame that that developed, actually. Uh, because corporation tax is something that we just got rid of. So... It will disappear, it's just going to take a little bit of time, which is unfortunate, but you know what, sometimes that's the situation. Anyway, what's the maximum political capital we can actually have? It's 50. I think we actually just wait until we have 50, and then we just cancel state schools. I'm, I'm actually completely for that. I think we're just going to go straight to the next turn. Yeah, freedom of information, uh, let's propose it. Let's propose it. There we go, why not? And then let's go straight to the next turn. Why not? Uh, you are Minister for Transport is tired of serving the government. I'm not surprised. We've not been very kind to the uh, to the motorists over the past, uh, past couple of turns. But hey-ho. GDP is back on the rise again, which is kind of nice. Scientific discovery. Also pretty darn good. I'm glad it happened. And we've got 50, po uh, 50 political capital right now. So that's the cap. Let's do something about it. Let's cancel out state schools. Suddenly, our uh, our deficit is still looking, you know, scary. But same time, fingers crossed, it'll be uh, it'll be fine. Fingers crossed, it'll be fine. So school vouchers will increase. Uh, it's going to really be very very expensive to deal with. But uh, fingers crossed, it helps our innovation just that little bit more. We should see it trending uh, upwards rather rapidly because we abolish corporation tax. Uh, we've increased private schools. And we're decreasing state schools. So honestly, innovation should be going through the roof. Fingers crossed that it does that. State health service is is next. And this is this is a toughie. This is a real toughie. And we're probably gonna have to cut back on this quite substantially, I would imagine. Because it's costing us a lot of money, and I don't really know if there's anywhere else that we can cut. Uh, cut expenditure. I mean, I suppose in pensions. Although pensions does do a lot of good for poverty. Although I think so does the... Uh, no, healthcare does not do anything to do with poverty. That's fine. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to be cutting, uh, cutting healthcare as soon as we get the opportunity to do so. But fingers crossed we don't have to. Hopefully we can, you know, get rid of this corporate exodus nonsense and... Uh, also, this tax evasion nonsense, which, let's face it, if we got rid of tax evasion, we'd probably be in a great situation. We really would. We really, really would. Um, why on why on earth have we got tax evasion? I mean, I, I don't understand. Can we introduce the, uh, the whatchamacallit? The whatchamacallit. The, uh, not... The Enterprise Investment Scheme, that's what we... We do actually want this. This is probably going to increase automation. Automation? Not automation. Innovation. Let's fund this to the max. Decrease number of socialists. It's quite ironic, right? You know, we're trying to build this socialist paradise and we're decreasing the number of socialists that we have. Uh, that was that was maybe a little bit of a... A little bit of a spend that didn't need to be happening, but flooding damage has come to an end. That's great. We've got a minor budget deficit of 20 billion or so. I'll take it. Happy with that. And uh, what were we going to do? We were going to do something really, really important. This is organ donation. Lovely. Um, yeah, we're going to cut state healthcare, I think. And we were also going to implement a policy that was going to try and deal with tax evasion. 
And I think, I think what we need is we need the uh, tax auditors. Reducing tax evasion. That's what we want. Um, shouldn't hurt us too much. It's going to cost that and it's going to bring us in a little bit more than we're currently getting. So let's do it. The main reason though is that we need to get rid of tax evasion because we are being really, really, really pounded by it. I mean, times 0 0.88. So basically we're getting 88% of our total income tax. And, you know, if we collect, if we collect 350 billion in income tax, right? Losing 12% of that, which is effectively what timesing by 88 does, losing 12% of your income tax, that's what, 35 roughly 40 40 billion 40 billion that is a lot to lose and if we had 40 billion well then we'd be in a great situation so we really want to make sure that that uh, that, that ends let's allow expansion plans whatever make the capitalists that little bit happier with us unemployment has fallen once again fantastic to see currently running a budget deficit still running a budget deficit really I mean, tax evasion should be going down. Tax auditors take four turns to implement themselves, so it's not going to be an instantaneous uh, occurrence of a completely solved situation. But, you know, hey-ho, we're getting there. How is innovation doing? Innovation has gone through the roof. The introduction of the enterprise investment scheme, uh, slashing of corporation tax, uh, the slashing of state schools, and the increase of private schools, which have just maxed themselves out. That is flipping epic. School vouchers are now costing us $46 billion. Totally fine with that. It's still cheaper. Well, it's actually pretty much the same price as uh, state schools. But state schools don't exist anymore, so hey-ho for that. Um, but yeah, how is the working week... How, how is how is innovation affected the working week? Working week... Eh, eh, mm, I mean, yeah. It's not bad. Um, technology is affected by innovation, but innovation really isn't doing much for it. Alright, it seems that we need to step it up a notch. It seems that we need to step it up a notch, and uh, we need to go for the big sciencey one. What was the big sciencey one? It was a big one. It was a really big, expensive project. It was the State Sciences Institute. We're going to save up for this, and we're going to implement it. Fingers crossed that it actually works. Fingers crossed that it gives us lots and lots and lots of glorious, glorious science. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, people smuggling. Yeah, I guess we'll allow to stay here. Yeah, it, it doesn't particularly matter to us, but I'll do it anyway. Oh, 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 yes. Congratulations, comrade. You have remade this country in the very image of a socialist paradise. The proletariat are, are downtrodden no longer. Excellent work. And we get a Nobel Prize as well. Pretty freaking awesome. Are running a minor budget deficit, but hey-ho. We get the big bad achievement, which is pretty, pretty good, if you ask me. Uh, and I don't think you can really complain about that. Let's just check out the working week. I wanted to see how uh, how short the working week actually is. It seems that we didn't really need to alter the working week that much more than it currently was. Is this the lowest that the working week can actually go? I really don't know. I really, I really do not know. I mean, I still want to introduce that that policy. You know, the big state sciences institute? Yeah, I want to introduce it. Look, here it is. Have it. Oh, man, look at this. This is insane. Let's fully fund it. You know, since we got nothing left to lose, let's do it. Our unemployment is going to go down. Our debt is going to go up. Tax evasion is going down slowly but surely. But hey-ho, uh, there is a budget deficit of 114 billion. Quite a lot, actually, I'll have you know. Yeah, you are... You, you, I don't care if you leave. You go leave, whatever. Airport expansion, another airport. That's a little bit ridiculous, but whatever. Um, tax evasion should be ending next turn, which is awesome. And our innovation should be, like, almost max at this point. Because the State Sciences Institute takes 18 flipping turns to... Oh. Oh, well, that's, that's ruined my day. 6% implementation. Yeah, it's nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Utter nonsense. Tax evasion has ended, and we may actually have balanced our, uh, our budget somewhat. I mean, yeah, I say we balanced our budget, but 
we would have balanced our budget if we didn't introduce State Sciences Institute. I mean, this is what our uh, our budget was like before we introduced State Sciences Institute, and this is our expenditure after we introduced State Sciences Institute. However, as you can clearly see, our income on this turn went up above this point without the State Sciences Institute. So, you know, we would be in a pretty fine situation anyway. But, you know what, I think that that's probably been one of the shortest series that I, I've done. I've done in, in Democracy 3, for the simple reason is, I don't really know why everything started out so hunky-dory. I mean, GDP was really good from the get-go, income was pretty darn good. I, I, I don't know why... I don't know why GDP was like max. That's so unbelievably strange, and I haven't changed anything. You know, I haven't I haven't installed like a cheaty mod or, or whatever. It just it just was that way, and I, I don't know why. I really just don't know why. But you know, hey ho. I think this is going to be the last series of Democracy Three that I'm going to be doing for uh, for a while on the channel. It's had a really good run, and I'm looking forward uh, to coming back to it. And there is going to be a sequel to it called uh, Democracy Africa, I think. And uh, I really, really like this game. I've thoroughly enjoyed playing it over the course of, what, like a year and a bit right now? Because it's one of the first games that I actually played in my channel. Thoroughly enjoyed playing it. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that for free. And hopefully you'll join me in another video, another time. But for now, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Orbital Potato, and I will see you next time. Bye.